What's going on everybody? I believe this is a Saturday video, so happy Saturday. I should be presently either at a card show or on my way home. Different one in Louisville, back-to-back -back weeks. Actually, we got them back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back weeks. So, we'll see if there's any change in flow of vendors, dealers, stuff like that there. But, I always get a lot of questions on my phone calls. Like, oh, you haven't done anything with videos and emails and stuff like that, or what you've been picking up. And I mostly keep that stuff, you know, to myself. Um... Mostly the reason behind it is because I don't want people jumping out buying what I'm getting into just because, you know, it's some type of hype and stuff like that there. So with that being said, I'm going to show you what I've been picking up here recently. Some of this stuff's just a move. Some of this stuff I've won. Um, some of the stuff I bought. So, I mean, I don't think any of the stuff I've graded myself, but... I'm going to go into it and show you guys. This here was out of a break, uh, GB Sports. And, I mean, Mojica, I'll probably grade way down the road. And then the Garcia Gold Shimmer will probably get graded way down the road. They both are in pretty good shape. Then I hit these here. It was three teams I had. I mean, nothing crazy here to where all this stuff will just go to DC Sports to get rid of. Um offhand that just came in today uh i hit this in a raz a while back charizard this is the uh the trainer box one you got one in every uh, etb with so i mean i think they're still around like 50 maybe 60 bucks maybe they're down to 40 i have no idea i just like them you know pretty cool looking until i get mine back in decide how many i'm going to keep of these things all right now this is something different here to where I've been, I'm not a big NASCAR person, but I've started picking these up. There's only five in a set for their downtowns here. And yeah, I do live kind of in the south in Kentucky, so racing is kind of, you know, popular here. Like this here, I'll end up getting graded, Austin Dillon. And with only having five in a set, I mean, I think the most expensive one's a couple hundred bucks. Dale Earnhardt Jr., SGC 10. Picked this up really, really cheap before I seen people starting to buy these. So I don't know how big the hype is now on to them and stuff, but pretty cool looking overall. I mean, for where I'm at, maybe they'll sell. Maybe I'll do the set, you know, eventually just take it all to PSA. I don't know. But pretty cool. There's only five downtowns, and they're pretty limited. I don't remember seeing this stuff in um, retail, but I could be wrong. All right, um, pick this up. This was out of a, a a win that I had. Kevin Porter Jr., Contenders Optic Rookie, PSA 10. You know, it's just something I might hold, might sell. Right price comes around. You know, there's still some hype with the kid, but it is what it is. I don't have a lot invested into it at all. I mean, probably 50 bucks tops, maybe. Same with this here, Zion, Zion Fanatics uh, Optic, PSA 10. His stuff has gone down. He's coming back up. This here's a little bit different because it's the Fanatics version. I know there's like 10,000 uh, versions. But pretty cool looking overall. It's a 10. Last I checked, these were like 140 150 Again, I think I was in like 34 bucks for this thing. So not bad. Picked this up on my slabs a while back. RJ Barrett. And it's BGS 9510. I does have a 9 for Surface. But it's a rookie penmanship, and, you know, I always said Barrett's decent where he's at. I think it's the Knicks is what holds him down up there mostly. Um, you know, something probably long-term I'll hold on to for a while. But, you know, it's the penmanship onto it. I don't think these are – there's different ones. I think there's actual silvers as variation too, if I recall right. I have to go back and look. The, the, the uh, prism stuff every year gets me. So another thing I picked up. Wanted to get two of these because I'm big on Sapphire. Got these at a very, very good price. Um, Dominguez is Sapphire, PSA 10s. So probably one I'll, I might end up selling them both down the road once baseball comes back in or he gets called up. Never know. I mean, the hype behind the kid, we'll see what happens. I've heard different people talking about them, so no idea. Picked up this Kyler here. Um, this is the Crown Royal uh, 25 RPA 3 color patch. Pretty nice, you know. 
Something I might hold on to for a while. We'll see how they do during football season. I don't see this going out to be graded by Beckett because I'm pretty sure it's going to come back like an eight and a half or something onto it just because it's thick. This next two cards I picked up in a trade with Jacob when I pulled that Griffey Ichiro Johnson. Julio Rodriguez, Mega Box Chrome, PSA 10. And this is really what I wind out of it all. Josh Allen, Panini 1. Four color patch out of one four one ninety nine one ninety nine. You know, nice little piece here. I got rid of a lot of my Josh Allen rookie stuff. Figured I'd just grab one just to have. Again, another thick card. You got to worry about the black up in here, and then uh, up onto here. My guess it'd probably come back as a BGS nine because I did see a little white up here. So. You know, it is what it is when you get those, but the thicker cars are just harder to grade out with stuff when it comes down to it. I mean, I was very lucky to PSA 10 and I'm Mac Herbert. A lot of people know I've been picking up soccer. Uh, no secret there uh, because of the World Cup. This is from uh, 2016 Donruss. It's Christian uh, uh, Polisic's uh, Donruss debut rookie, they call it or something. BGS 9.5. Then this just came in the mail. Uh, Makoko. This is the Blue Wave Refractor from Finest. SGC 9.5. A little crud onto that there. Just happened to notice that. That's on the sleeve over it. But overall, like I said, um, I haven't been picking up a whole lot of stuff. Most of this stuff has been what I've been grading. And then I just go out and grab odds and ends of stuff, as you can see. Not really going into anything real heavy just because it's end of the year. Um, you know, it's a lot to do with balancing of books and everything like that between now and through probably like the end of January, because once tax stuff comes out to go through, I got to check laws, make sure nothing's changed. Everything balances out across the board and stuff. So there, there will be fewer videos if you guys remember from last year, December, January till tax season's through. But I figured, I know a lot of people would ask, I haven't seen you pick anything up in a while. Well, I have been, but not really have been. It's just that, you know, I'll show if I pick stuff up at shows and stuff like that there. But this stuff here is all mostly stuff I'm going to end up holding on to for a while. Some of the stuff I'll end up getting graded down the road. Uh, I think now with the industry where it's at, a lot of people are paying attention to pop counts. They're looking, you know, at different aspects of what to get into and how different things are now being produced more heavily. I mean, look at the uh, kabooms this year floating out out of blasters. I think there's like one or two per case in blasters. And, I mean, when you're talking about hobby, which is way more expensive, you're only getting one per case from what I've heard. I mean, maybe they used to be one per case. Maybe they upped it this year to two or three. Grants a bigger checklist and stuff. I got it. But still, a lot of stuff, it's just going to become uh, more saturated over time. And I don't. I'm, I forgot to put this in, but um, Topps Prestine makes its return this year. Topps Prestine. I got one box of it on pre-order. We'll see how that goes. But... Um, that's pretty much all I picked up, guys. Uh, that's probably about two months worth of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff I did pick up I used for the uh, uh, Black Friday Extreme Packs and stuff. Uh, a lot of people were very, very happy with that, even the ones that didn't, weren't able to get into it. Uh, I'll look at doing something here coming up. I do a PSA order, just went into assembly. We'll see what I could uh, try to come up, maybe a quick 20-packer with like two chase cards in, pretty cheap type deal. But other than that, guys, you guys have a good, safe weekend out there. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed overtime last night. And I'll catch you all next video. I got a bunch of videos actually already in the works this week. So you guys, there should be about four of them to pop out uh, this week, including this one here, maybe even five. All right, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later.